नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण मैनिफेस्टिंग टेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी एट टेक्स ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड टेक्स थर्टी ऑफ चैप्टर नाइन द पासिंग अवे ऑफ भीष्म देव इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण ऑफ फर्स्ट एंड टू क्रिएशन ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम टेक्स ट्वेंटी एट धर्मार्थ काम मोक्षा शच सहो पायान यथा मुने नानाख्या नेतिहासु वर्णयामास तत्ववित देन ही डिस्क्राइब द ऑक्युपेशनल ड्यूटीज ऑफ डिफरेंट ऑर्डर्स एंड स्टेटस ऑफ लाइफ साइटिंग इंस्टेंसेस फ्रॉम हिस्ट्री for he was himself well acquainted with the truth incidents mentioned in the vedic literatures such as the puranas mahabharat and ramayan are factual historical narrations that took place sometimes in the past although not in any chronological order such historical facts being instructive for ordinary men were assorted without chronological reference besides that they happen on different planets nay in different universes and thus the description of the narrations is sometimes measured by three dimensions we are simply concerned with the instructive lessons of such incidents even though they are not in order by our limited range of understanding bhishma dev described such narrations before maharaj yudhishthir in reply to his different questions text 29 dharma ma pravadata stasya sa kalah pratyup sthitah yo yogi nash chand mrityor Godhead 
this mind constantly engaged in remembering me undeviated from the path he o path arjun is sure to reach me ninth one should meditate upon the supreme person as the one who knows everything as he who is the oldest who is the controller who is smaller than the smallest who is the maintainer of everything who is beyond all material conception who is inconceivable and who is always a person he is luminous like the sun and being transcendental he is beyond this material nature tenth one who at the time of death fixes his life air between the eyebrows and in full devotion engages himself in remembering the supreme lord will certainly attain to the supreme personality of godhead 11 persons learned in the vedas who utter omkar and who are great sages in the renounced order enter into brahma desiring such perfection one practices celibacy i shall now explain to you this process by which one may attain salvation 12 the yogic situation is that of detachment from all sensuous engagements closing all the doors of the senses and fixing the mind on the heart and the life air on the top of the mind one establishes himself in yoga 13 after being situated in this yoga practice and vibrating the sacred syllable om the supreme combination of letters if one thinks of the supreme personality of god and puts his body he will certainly reach the spiritual planets 14 for one who remembers me without deviation i am easy to obtain o son of prutha because of his constant engagement in devotional service 15 after attaining me the great souls who are yogis in devotion never return to this temporary world which is full of miseries because they have attained the highest perfection shri bhishma dev attained the perfection of putting his body at his will and was fortunate enough to have lord krishna the object of his attention personally present at the time of death he therefore fixed his open eyes upon him he wanted to see shri krishna for a long time out of his spontaneous love for him because he was a pure devotee he had very little to do with the detailed performance of yogic principles simple bhakti yoga is enough to bring about perfection therefore the ardent desire of bhishma dev to see the person of lord shri krishna the most lovable object and by the grace of the lord shri bhishma dev had this opportunity at the last stage of his breathing hare krishna 